Well, I did all my uh, uh, lower school in uh, Wabashine, and we had, there was two uh, buildings there. Um, an old wooden school that was uh, there that you went to for grades one, two, and three. Now that school only had the one room in it, but I think it, it had two rooms in it, but it only used one room. But I think uh, perhaps when there were larger uh, uh, number of children to go to school, they used the second room. I remember looking through the windows there and seeing all kinds of desks that were just kind of turned over and not being used anymore and whatnot. So that was taught at the time by uh, a teacher named uh, Eva Gervais. And uh, she taught the, th the one to three grade. And then you moved over to the, uh, to the uh, school that is currently, building is currently there. And that had two uh, sections in it. It had uh, uh, one room in, that handled the grade four, five, and six class. And the other room held the seven and eight class. In that building also was a workshop that uh, the teacher who taught grade uh, seven and eight was at the time was a, a principal and he was named Jack Steele. And he also taught woodworking to the boys downstairs in a woodworking shop that we had. And uh, my mother taught grade four, five and six and uh, she taught home ec to the girls. They had a home ec room downstairs uh, that they used there and whatnot. So I had the uh, honor of uh, having my mother as a teacher for three years, and uh, that was, I guess, a, a public variety of homeschooling. Uh, she, uh, I must say, uh, one thing I remember is that I had to call her Mrs. Cronin at school, and when we were in the home, she never mentioned one thing about school, not even, are you doing your homework or anything like that. For myself, it caused a, a little bit of uh, uh, harassment on the schoolyard because uh, I was getting all these stories about your mother is giving you the answers to the exams and whatnot, and <laughs> which led to a number of uh, <laughs> minor violations of <laughs> the um, adult body, I guess. And, um, so uh, then grade seven and eight, we went to uh, Mr. Steele. And then uh, we had to be bused to Midland to high school, which was the uh, Midland Penetang District High School at the time. I believe I was, uh, the year we went was I think the first full year that that school operated uh, for everyone. Uh, initially, it had been built, well, finished building the year before where, and the not enough classrooms, I guess, were open, and they ran permitted kids for one part of the day, and the penitent uh, children for the rest of the day, and whatnot. But in, when I went, everyone was uh, in that uh, in the district high school, and it encompassed, of course, all of the area of uh, Tay and uh, and Hillsdale children. For grade 13, they didn't have a grade 13 in Hillsdale in those days. They had to come into uh, to uh, the Midland High School at that time. So uh, yeah, that was my schooling. Once you pay, it passed, uh, I graduated out of there in grade 13 in, in 1962. And uh, after that, had to leave the area to, uh, to uh, find employment. Now, when you were in high school, was there a cadet program? We did have the cadet program there, and uh, I remember that in, uh, the first year I, of course, went out and did all the marching and whatnot, and uh, in the second year I got uh, poison ivy, so I was able to get an exemption for not having <laughs> to do the cadet program because of the uniforms that uh, aggravated that somewhat. And then in the third year, we had a rifle range in the, in the school and uh, we had a, a grand inspection where, <coughs> uh, where they would bring up some tanks from Count Borden and senior officers in the army there for an inspection day. And uh, part of that was to, they had a 21 gun salute out there and whatnot. So I 
figured I better learn how to shoot a rifle and get down there and get involved in that because I didn't have to march then. You went in the rifle range and practiced shooting and whatnot. So uh, uh, I became a member of that. And plus you look pretty snazzy out there with all the white uh, spats and the white <laughs> uh, armbands and whatnot. And, uh, and then we, so we would march in that just uh, one, the one day of the inspection day, and we would do a 21 gun salute course with blanks and whatnot in the guns. And whatnot. So uh, yeah, and then in grade 13, you didn't have to, to, uh, to be in the cadets because uh, too much work in school in that year. Now, Midland Penetang District High School eventually became Midland Secondary School, which now is gone. Uh, could you describe where the gun range was located in the school? Okay, in the school, um, there was a music room uh, that Mr. Bartlett ran, which you, off the main floor, you went downstairs into that uh, music room, and to the left of that music room was where the uh, the uh, the range was for shooting and whatnot, so it was kind of underneath the, the stool building per so, se. So underneath the gymnasium. Sorry. Underneath the gym. Uh, well, ah, maybe a little to the left of underneath the gym. Yeah, but partly on the probably part of it. Yeah. 